The AK-47 is an extremely iconic weapon and could possibly be the most recognizable firearm in the entire world. Just so happens that Counter-Strike players also fell in love with this gun, and learning to master this versatile weapon has become essential to climbing the ranks. What is up, ProGuides fam? My name is Bugs, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be bringing you the ultimate AK-47 guide. Remember to like and subscribe. Now, let's get started. The best place to start when talking about any weapon in CSGO is the recoil pattern. Now, I know everybody and their mom knows the recoil pattern of the AK-47. Heck, even my own grandma knows the recoil pattern to the AK, but I couldn't call this the ultimate guide without covering everything from head to toe. The AK-47 has a pretty standard recoil, especially for assault rifles. The bullets shoot straight up for the first five to six, then it swings left slightly before swinging back right, and finally ending once again on the left side. The recoil creates a T-shape, somewhat similar to the M4's recoil. Luckily for us CSGO players, the recoils of the three most used weapons have rather similar recoil patterns. Now, something to note is that the recoil for the AK is a lot bouncier at the beginning of the pattern as compared to the M4s. It jumps up quite a bit at the beginning, so there are less bullets you can burst before you have to compensate for recoil, whereas the M4 generally allows for far more bullets before the recoil needs to be compensated for. Statistic-wise, the AK-47 is a cut above the rest. From the damage chart alone, you will notice the big key feature that the AK offers a one-shot headshot, regardless of armor, at a relatively low price point, only $2,700. Another key feature the AK has is its devastatingly fast reload speed. Its reload of 2.43 seconds is basically a whole 0.6 seconds better than its CT side counterpart, the M4, which reloads at 3.1 seconds. Something to note about the legendary AK-47 is that its damage output is once again just all around better than both the M4s, with the AK being able to put away enemies with four bullets instead of five in comparison. And another thing to note is its accuracy at longer distances. The only real downside about the AK is the weapon inaccuracy after multiple shots have been fired, and its extremely punishing recoil. Something I need to make sure I mention before we go full on into rifling styles is stutter stepping. Stutter stepping with the AK is extremely viable, some people like to call it counter-strafing, but whatever you call it, it's useful for most weapons that need high-precision shots, like the AK, Desert Eagle, and most snipers. So stutter-stepping as a bare-bones concept is moving forward or pressing any directional key, then pressing the opposite direction key to immediately stop your momentum. For example, if you release the W key, you still have momentum and need to trick the game into thinking that you're standing still by pressing the S key. Usually this is used for strafing left and right, but it also works for moving forwards and backwards. And if you are pressing two keys, just press the opposite of those keys. So if you ever see those insane running one taps, that's usually not the whole story. It's probably someone who just counter strafed so fast that it looked like they never stopped moving when factoring in server lag. Now remember what I just said, stutter stepping isn't just useful for the AK. It's useful for resetting the recoil on practically every weapon in the game. It guarantees that you will have an accurate first shot, and once again, that's viable on every weapon in the game. Now on to another important thing that needs to be talked about when going over almost any weapon in CSGO. What kind of rifling style do you need to use? The AK is an extremely versatile weapon, just like the AWP, so it can wear many different hats. We have a more detailed video on the three rifling styles that you can check out on our channel, but I'm not going to be rehashing everything here. The AK can be used in all three of the rifling styles, but it excels best in tap shooting. The reason for that being it has a one-shot headshot regardless of head armor. So mid to long ranges when engaging with an AK are preferable. Tap shooting and even bursting with the AK are usually the best ways to use this weapon. I generally try to stay away from full-on spraying an enemy with almost any weapon in the game, but I will go more into detail on why I do that later in the video. But for now, what you need to remember is four key things. Tap firing and bursting then medium to long ranges. Let me give you a crucial tip for bursting right here. This isn't just for the AK, but practically every automatic weapon in the game. It takes four shots to kill someone with an AK in the game. So we've all had instances where we start bursting and they don't die. Maybe they flip around and start firing at us. Whatever the case may be, you are going to want to reset your spray. Never be afraid to do this. After bursting four to five bullets, instead of going into a full-on spray to try and kill them, stutter step left to right, giving yourself enough time for even a minor reset should be good enough to give you the advantage in the fight. All right, so going extremely in-depth on rifling here when I have quite a bit more to cover on the AK is going to be difficult, but luckily there is another option. Over on ProGuides.com, we have expert coaches who can help you with your rifling if you are looking to improve. They can help with a variety of things, practically anything you could need help with. Not to mention, we also have some amazing courses from pro players like Simple and Fallen. 
So if you are looking to improve and reach your desired rank the fastest way possible, ProGuides.com is the way to do it. Remember to check out the link in the description. Alright guys, it's time for our question of the day. What color crosshair do you use? Do you use the default bright green color? Maybe you use a red color, because everyone you look at is an enemy. Or perhaps you're like me and have that color change bind I talked about a few videos ago. So you're constantly swapping from orange to blue and even to pink. Whatever color it is and how often you change it, we want to know down in the comment section below. The next thing I gotta talk about, which is true for all weapons in Counter-Strike, but extremely true for the AK-47, is your aim. Taking out an enemy with one shot versus taking them out with four shots can be the difference between winning and losing rounds. So you always need to make sure your aim is crisp and clean. Remember to spend time in the dot map, aim bots, or whatever third-party practicing software you prefer. Now along with that, I highly recommend warming up before starting a match. This is helpful with not just the AK, but every weapon in the game, as you will be warmed up and in the mindset to play CSGO, as opposed to being foggy like when you are just waking up. So with that in mind, to be successful, you also need to learn pre-fire angles, common spots that players will sit at on every map. Key word there was every map, not just Mirage and Dust too. Time will need to be spent on Inferno, Overpass, Nuke, and the dreaded Vertigo and Ancient. To truly be an AK expert is having the ability to take someone out with clean one taps no matter the map being played. Now on the flip side of that, on CT's side, after saving an AK from the previous round, to be the most deadly you must know how to position correctly. And not just that, your reaction time needs to be superb in order to one tap unsuspecting foes. Learning one and done spots can be extremely effective with an AK such as the top of roof on Inferno's A site or even the top boxes on the B site. The element of surprise greatly benefits the AK especially on CT side because of its deadly one tap potential. The last thing I want to remind everyone is not AK exclusive but something I see people forget a lot when they are using the AK is trigger discipline. You need to have it when you are using the AK. Its recoil can be quite punishing if you aren't respecting the weapon. And what do you know? This leads nicely into my next topic, so let's get it. Remember when I talked earlier about how I tried to refrain from full spraying with, well, any weapon in CSGO? There are a few exceptions to that, like reworked Negev. It was designed to be sprayed when its recoil was reworked, and it's also amazing at stopping rushes. The only other real scenario when you need to be full on spraying is when you were spray transferring. This can be practiced to name bots, just line up the bots and work it out. Remember to pause after so many bullets, because in a real match you won't have an endless clip. Alright, so long story short, if you ever find yourself shooting more than say 6 bullets at a single target, you've messed up, and your spray recoil needs to be reset. The next bad habit I see is buying the AK or even the M4 on round 2. Why? Why would you want to financially handicap yourself? The SMGs and even the shotguns are far cheaper for a second round buy, and they give you exorbitant amounts of cash. Those weapons along with eco rounds are designed that way for a specific reason. You want to earn money on those rounds, so say for instance, by some freak chance you lose the first round buy or round 3. You aren't completely broke and you can buy back. Now the worst case scenario, you buy an AK on round 2 and you lose that round. Or you die and the enemy save the gun. You've just armed the enemy with one of the deadliest weapons in the entire game. Remember, the AK is extremely dangerous, but not just for use on the T side. It's something to keep in mind with any weapon you purchase, looking at you auto sniper. The enemy may choose to save your weapon after you die and use it against you in the next round. Last thing I want to remind everyone is that experienced players can tell when you haven't put in the time with the AK. We can tell if you know how to handle your weapon just by how you shoot it. That's why experienced players are so good at picking out cheaters in Overwatch because inexperienced players won't handle things correctly or won't use game sense correctly so it's extremely obvious when you either don't know what you're doing or when you're cheating for example. We've covered a lot, so I want to go back over what we've covered. The AK-47 is a flexible weapon, but it excels specifically in long to mid-range combat. Remember to tap shoot or use short, controlled bursts when firing the AK. Full spring on the AK is not advisable, but some players with exceptional recoil control can get away with it. We never really want to purchase the AK or even the M4 on second round, or eco rounds when we may need to earn money. Stutter stepping with the AK is essential for landing headshots and having maximum precision when shooting. And lastly, we always want to pick up any dropped AKs we find, especially on CT side. On T side, the most valuable weapon to pick up is an op. But on CT side, it's an AK because, well, we all know, you can't buy an AK on the CT side. You may not be exceptionally skilled with the AK, but someone on your team will surely thank you for picking it up. Well, there it is, the ultimate AK-47 guide. The knowledge I've just bestowed upon you should be enough to turn you into an AK monster. So remember to like and subscribe. 
Hitting the bell icon will help you stay up to date with all the new content our ProGuides team puts out. And remember, if you are looking to take your game to the next level, head on over to ProGuides.com where you will have the opportunity to work with our expert coaches and get your own personalized experience from them. They can help you with all sorts of things and help you reach your desired rank. I wish you all the best of luck in your next matches, and I will be back soon with more content. Adios.